Pro Simulator. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. And today we are going to be diving in to checking out what this game is like on a bone stock profile. So this is for all you guys who have just bought the game, you're looking to buy the game, you're looking to get into it, you're maybe looking to buy a computer to just play this game. Maybe if you're a trucker, just like myself, and you're looking to jump into this, and jump into the world of American Truck Simulator, or even Euro Truck Simulator, this is going to be the video series for you. Truck driver, guys, we've got our coffee ready here. So this is going to be when you guys first get the game. So when you guys first get the game, this is what we're going to be branded with here. We're going to be starting a brand new profile, so I'm going to just name the profile Stop. So these guys know, my name is Monty. Yes, we have a crazy slew amount of mods on all my profiles, but this one is going to have no mods whatsoever. We're going to play the game as it is. It's going to be completely a video series, kind of, just to show you guys again, like I said, everything that you guys would see and to expect from the game. But enough talking, let's jump right into it. We're going to be picking our picture here. Uh, I am a male, so I'm going to change this to a gentleman. There we go. Preferred truck design. Uh, I prefer the old Kenworth. And we'll choose the company logo here. We're going to choose the uh, little military star there. We're going to name the company Modded Transport. And I'm going to pretty much walk through everything here, what you guys to expect and how I set up my game. So you guys can use a mouse and keyboard. You can use a Xbox controller or a Steam controller, or I think even maybe a PlayStation controller. And of course, also a steering wheel as well. So we're going to hit Create Profile. And it's going to tell you right here what you're using. So I use a controller with the wheel here. And we're going to use the H shift pattern. I use a range splitter, but I'm going to go into that a little bit more. Advanced setup, this is all right here. And I use the 18 speed. And this is my toggle. That's not toggling. Oh, I think I got to do that on the other screen. So we'll X out of that. Uh, let's hit X and finish with it. So we're going to jump right into it, guys. I have all the DLCs for the game. Plenty of DLCs to download for American Truck Simulator. And once it decides to load up, we'll jump right into it. We'll see exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be 100% probably even unedited. Exactly what you guys are going to check out. Again, there are no mods. I am using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, so my game might look a tad bit cleaner maybe um that is just because of the hardware that i'm using of course all questions for any kind of computer software hardware and also my setup will be all in the description below so jumping in here we get to pick the city we want to start in so this game is being developed by the day is still being developed so as you see we still have all over here and the east coast to get to so plenty of opportunity plenty of states to go through but this is what we have so far oklahoma and oklahoma i believe is right here right and Oklahoma and Kansas will be coming to the game this year. Very exciting stuff. So I personally know a little cheat sheet. I picked a Kenworth. I know there's a Kenworth dealership here in Elko. And there's also one down here in Los Angeles. I'm going to start off in Los Angeles. And the reason I'm going to do so is because it'll put me right next to the dealership. So I can probably buy a truck sooner than later. Um, but I'm going to put myself down here in California. And the whole idea of the game is pretty much to discover all of these major cities. But let's just jump right into it here. Do you want to walk through the tutorial? No, I am the tutorial, thank you. And we should be starting out here with the load. So, as you guys will see right here, welcome to American Truck Simulator. We are getting ready to rock and roll. So hit the enter key. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. Oh my God. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but you sadly lack the money to buy a truck. Oh my God, we're poor. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. So we're kind of like leasing on, but not really because we don't have our own truck. Uh, your task is to safely deliver a load of gypsum to sell goods dock in Los Angeles. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. So they literally gave us a truck. Wild stuff. So here we are, guys, in the truck. Let's take a look at it. Now, ironically enough, guys, if you guys are some old school American Truck Simulator players. This is actually the new Kenworth. So to all you new players, this is just the Kenworth. Um, this is the remodel of the Kenworth W900, which is actually just got released today, being Thursday, the 2nd of March. But this is what we look pretty much looking at right here. We're going to always do a first load here. Got a nice little triaxle trailer on. But first things first, I'm going to go into my settings here. We got that badass music going. I'm going to change some of my key bindings around. Uh, 
here. I need to change. Uh, I got that already there. Cool. All right, cool. I think I'm good there. Uh, we need to go back into the options, though. We need to go to gameplay. So gameplay is going to be right here. Now this is going to be like your fatigue simulations for sleeping. You guys got to pull over if you go over your DOT to 11 hours. A traffic offense as well, running red lights, any cars, stuff like that. Speed warnings, all this kind of fun stuff. Uh, we're going to leave this on for a few missions. The route advisor and all the matter parking log. So you guys can see exactly what this game is all about. But what I am going to do is I am going to turn off down here the automatic electric engine start and drop axles. You can also put on air brake simulation and realistic fuel. So I'll do that as well because I am using a actually steering wheel and shifter. Automatic blinker turn off. We'll turn that off as well. Uh, let's see what else here we have that I want to turn off. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, now I want to go to the control side of things. So if you guys are using a force feedback wheel, that's going to be here. You're going to select this. Check your settings up. Uh, I always have my foot on the clutch. Slide down here. I want to shift with advance. Clutch and throttle. This is it for me with my shift here. Sometimes it wants to go. Sometimes it doesn't. Maybe not today. Let's see if this one does. My, uh, here it is, eye tracking. I do use Kobe eye tracker. I'm not sure why it's not going to work properly, but anyway, guys, so now I can hit the fuel pedal and I don't have any engine start. Um, I'm not going to add that out. I'm going to show you guys too. If any issues I have for some reason, we're just going to ride with this. This is going to be like completely, like, almost like a live stream. Um, we're going to jump right into the truck here. Uh, there we go, looking around the old ride. Boom, boom. All right, so we're going to fire this thing up. Make sure the audio is right too. We'll make sure this thing is loud enough for you guys to hear it. Everything should be pretty good. We'll max that out. We don't need a radio. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear the truck. It is a little quiet. It is on my end though. Uh, we do have the windows we can roll on down. We've got our mirrors there to look out the mirrors. Guys, if you don't have a head tracker like I do where you can look out either one. But we are looking pretty good here. We're gonna turn that down. Uh, I'm also gonna hit the F4 key. Could adjust our mirrors here. Get that over a little bit. We'll hit number five for the right side. And there we go. All right, so we are in a Kenworth W900L. And looking at my dash, we have zero miles on this truck. And I'm gonna have to try to get my, uh, I don't know why it's not. I'm gonna have to get the uh, shifter to work right here. Unless I don't have a, uh, let's see what kind of, transmission we have in this thing anyway it is an 18 speed okay so maybe because my foot was on the clutch maybe that's why uh, so let's go back down here and try this one more time there it is my foot was on the clutch that was the problem boys there we go nice and easy now that works see that's why we're not going to cut anything out all right, so now if we look at the dash here, we have LL, LH, so that's low, low, and high range of the low gear. So we are running here. Take a look at the old ride. Look at this thing looking pretty large. Let's see our lights too. Our lights are looking pretty good. The lights don't come on the back of the truck. Gotta, gotta get that going, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, guys, so this is what we're gonna be jumping right into. Nice little W900 with an Aerodyne cab on it. I'm gonna adjust myself here in the seat as well. So I got this big old steering wheel here in front of me if you guys haven't noticed from the live streams or whatnot. So we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. There we go. All right, so the brakes are released. We're gonna start rolling on out of here with this. And make our turn. We're delivering this load here of gypsum to a cell goods. The old W900. Now with this profile, I'm gonna do uh, some weekly videos of it, just to kind of show you guys, like you know, 
pretty much just like the basic game average from like what the game is, stock and stuff like that. If you guys want to see a series on this. Also, for all you multiplayer fans out there and convoy fans, we'll also be using this profile too for the convoys and stuff like that. So we will be live streaming a little bit of the convoy. We'll, we'll be live streaming all the convoys, but uh, if you guys are interested in this profile or whatnot and want to follow along, this is pretty much just going to follow the same thing as the career mode, but like I said, just bone stock. Uh, no mods whatsoever. We are not going to even run any workshop mods. So this is going to be a complete bone stock game profile. Uh, so this guy doesn't hit me. Good to go. I should have, probably should have put my blinker on. Let me pull on out of here. Now, if I hit the I key on the keyboard, that's going to show me my trip economy, the distance, and all that kind of stuff as well. So, uh, I'm going to have it on the trip economy at the moment. Let's see what kind of fuel mileage we're getting in this bad boy. So, this is a 15 or 18 speed transmission. So, we do have a few gear ranges to get. Now, on the map there on the bottom right, you'll see the blue little bed there. That is where we're going to be doing our rest. So we do have like a make-believe logbook here, if you see right there on the right-hand side. And it's going to tell us what our cargo is, what we're getting paid, where we're going, where we started. And you'll see it says remains. That's how much time we have left of the actual delivery. And the next rest stop is pretty much when our hours of service are over. So as a CDL truck driver, you have 14 hours a day of driving. Technically, you can only drive, I believe, 11. game does not simulate that much of it, but listen, it, it is a game, and it is trying to be 100% like a simulator, but we can only do what we can do with what we're given, but it is really kind of cool, the fact that we even have this opportunity to uh, to do something like this. Uh, hit the brake there, around the corner, upshift a little bit there. So the big main priority of this profile, again, guys, like I said, is so if you guys are looking to get a PC but just for this game, you guys have been watching the live streams, you guys are liking what you see, you guys want to jump into this thing, uh, this game is a lot of fun, especially if you guys are in a big rigs and in a trucks and stuff like that. I highly recommend it for everybody if they've ever wanted to get behind the wheel of a truck, even if you're just driving on a mouse and a keyboard or even just a controller. Uh, the game is very realistic in its own sense. There are a few things, obviously, we cannot always replicate a real-life scenario with, but there is a lot more things that you can do in this game that would be like a real-life scenario. Um, that is actually really kind of cool. Uh, it's always I've been playing this game since 2016. It is now 2023, and I'm still almost as pretty much as it was on day one. But, uh... This series is going to be pretty much, like I said, for the guys wondering what this game is all about. It's like when you guys watch the live streams and you guys see all the mod Mondays and, you know, the no GPS profile. You guys are probably checking out like, wow, man, look at that. Look at that W900 or look at that 359 Peterbilt. Like, I want to play this game. I want to get that. Like, you got to understand, like, you don't just get that. We're going to get a red light ticket. Oh, there we go, guys. See, we ran a red light. It was too quick. We should have stopped. That's my bad. I already got a ticket here on the profile. It's not going to be a modded ATS video without a ticket right away. But uh, I want to show you guys, too. Look, we get tickets, so we ran a red light. But anyway, uh, I want to show you guys what you are actually going to expect if you buy this game and what the game looks like. I always, always stress this enough on the stream that I love the stock game of American Truck Simulator. I love it. A good friend of mine, George, as you guys know in the stream, Mr. J.R. Prince. Him and I, and as well as the one JBZ, Jesse. Boys and I would be playing multiplayer for hours if we would put the miles. Oh, 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 we gotta make a break here. I didn't realize that. Look at that. See, we'll go. We're already messing up, boys. And we stalled it in the middle of the road. Put back in low. There we go. See, I'm too busy rambling. Grinding here, there almost. Should probably hide this so we can see where we're going there. F3 is going to be the key there for that. But anyway, 
just playing a stock game multiplayer with no mods, we were putting on like 30, 40,000 miles. Okay, great. On, on the profiles, because the, the stock game was just so much fun. Speaking of which, I'm going to go through all the little little nodes as well. They're on the map there on the right-hand side of the Garmin. You will see what looks like a little gas gauge tank there, which is the green and white, which is what it is. We can get fuel there. So you guys will run out of fuel here in the truck. You will not run out of DEF fluid, though I do believe it will fill up um, as you get fuel. So if the DEF tank does move, we'll check that out as we continue on. But, um, look at our mirrors there, make sure nothing is, uh, should we get through this light? Oh, we're getting another one? Nope. Ah, uh, good, we're good, we're good. Beautiful, beautiful Los Angeles here. Take a look on the outside view. Very nice. I like the red truck. Got our big old trailer on. Take a break. There we go. to the gallon. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. Should probably try to get a little bit better fuel mileage, to be honest with you. The detail on these trucks are awesome. They, they were able to get a deal with Packar. They were able to get the licensing, and I think these trucks are fantastic. That's me slurping coffee. I'm going to start off in second gear here, probably a little bit too much. So let's move on here. So if I hit the F3 key, that's going to bring us back to our previous screen. So we were our last on the dispatch. If we hit F1, that's going to pause the game. As you see, F2 is going to be our side mirrors there. And then F3 is the route advisor. So we'll hit the F1 key again on pause. And when we go over here to the route advisor, if we hit the F5 key, if I can find it, there it is. That's going to show us our map. If we hit that again, it's going to be a longer view and an even higher view. Very close. Uh, if you see there on the map there, that little gray and white, that is going to be our garage. There are plenty of garages around the map here in the American Truck Simulator. So the idea is pretty much to buy a truck, get yourself a trailer, and to build a company and to be successful. Have all, of course, the garages, fill them all up, and uh, pretty much just build a trucking empire. Uh, it's a really kind of a cool concept. Like I said, there's plenty of mods for the game, too. Like, um, there is the Steam Workshop, so there's Steam Workshop support. So if you guys want to go ahead and, like, get some real companies or uh, different tire packs, paint skins, if you guys want to buy some mods off of Facebook or other websites, there are ways to go ahead and get some mods for the game. But, again, just as a stock game, we're going to go through this whole thing, show you guys exactly what everything is. Go through the trucks, the trailers, the whole nine, and uh, pretty much just enjoy the ride. So put our rain blinker on here. Look at that. We're actually getting prepared now. So I don't know if I can make a red on red here. And there's a cop here, and the cops do write tickets. I don't know if California's a red on red state. I guess we can make a red on red. Go up here and bang a left into the cell goods here. Try to blow it up. And make the left here into the cell goods. Now, when you guys go to a first job, you're going to be greeted with this floating green trailer. So this floating green trailer is going to be a activation. And this is going to be where it's going to ask you where you want to put the trailer. So we're going to pull on up here. And we'll simulate us pulling the brake there. We'll pull it out of gear, put it back in neutral, kind of for the realization of it. And I'm going to hit the key there. Now it's going to be, sorry, I'm in a hurry. So this just completely skips the entire delivery process. As you see, you get zero XP for this. 
Let's play it safe. That's going to be your best bet. Easy one. Pull either straight forward, go around a bend and park, or where do you need it? So the where do you need it is obviously going to be a little bit more of a challenge as well as you getting the most XP out of it. So, of course, we're going to show you guys how much of a pain it is for Mike to back in. Now, we're going to cheat on this one. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this, and then we'll probably go ahead and have to do everything on the inside of the cab. But as you guys see here, there's a whole bunch of trailers here. So this is the sell goods. And you see here, too, we can skip. So if you guys are having a problem, I can't park the trailer. I'm having issues. Uh, I've been here for 25 minutes. My dog broke my controller. I don't know what your excuse may be. Four ways on there. We got our four ways on because we're about that dope stuff we're about to go down. You can go ahead and skip. Now, if you skip, you will not get the XP. It will act as though you have just done the where you want it or the simple one. I'm in a hurry. So we're going to pull right up there. Now, this is not our truck, so we could probably crash and wreck it up there. Now, as you guys saw, that's the second time I've stalled. And if you guys are not aware, I am using a steering wheel and a shifter in order to play American Truck Simulator. Now, you see here, we have the white line flashing. That is going to be where they want the load. So the whole idea is pretty much to get the trailer in the square box. The front little white piece there that's blinking, that's going to be where the tractor is going to end up. Ideally, though, they are just concerned about the trailer. So even if you guys are in a real tight spot, if you guys can just get the trailer in, that will suffice for an accepted delivery. So we're going to pull this thing forward now a little bit without hitting the wall up front. And then we're going to back her on in. There we go. Oops, stalled it again, boys. I do have a clutch, but I haven't adjusted anything on this profile yet. So if you guys are wondering either why I'm terrible at backing up and stalling the engine so much. So we're going to back this thing on up. Now watch, I'm going to put a little bit on an angle here and you'll see too. Actually, we're going to be able to straighten this out. You'll see that it would accept the, uh, the position. But uh, there we go. This is going to be our first one, so we're going to hit the parking brake and now I'm going to hit the T key. The legs go down on the trailer and now we have delivered our first load from Los Angeles to Los Angeles, 24 miles of shorty. We do get some XP here. You are on a level system. And I'll show you guys a real quick little overview of that. But here we go. First mission's done. We get our first garage. So our truck headquarters. So this is your headquarters. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you, have not, you haven't got anything to park there yet. So there are no trucks inside. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. So I'll explain what that means in a minute. Good luck. So pretty much right now, we are stuck. We are stuck doing just quick jobs. As you see, none of these are available at the moment. Also, we don't have any truck dealers discovered. So by discovering the truck dealer here on the map, you'd have to go here. These little question marks are going to be something different each time. I believe the Kenworth dealer, though, is right here. Yeah, it does say Kenworth actually on it. So either on one of our quick jobs, we'll have to drive by the dealership in order to identify it or very well wait until we get to the level. I think it's like level two or three. Truck dealers will unlock, and then whatever truck you've selected as your first truck, you will be able to purchase uh, from a dealership. Uh, if you have no skills yet, there's a whole bunch of stuff to go through with this. We're gonna have our progress history, so this is gonna be us going all the way up. Uh, it's gonna have your deliveries canceled, your deliveries finished. I do wish we did have a find, so that'd be kinda cool to check that out. But to show you guys again, we'll hit job market, quick job. And then now we can go either select one of the major cities around the country. So if you want to check out a new area while you guys are training up your experience, you can do so. I'll hit another one here in Los Angeles. And again, now we got to select a different truck. If you guys wanted to check out another truck, maybe to drive around and see if you'll like it or not, you can go ahead and do so. We got some shorties again. We got a day cap Kenworth. This one's going down. All the way down to San Diego. Got some Peter Bills. Got a Mac up here. You guys can see there are different style trucks here. We got one going to Bakersfield. I might take this one up to Bakersfield. Still international. Cotton Lint we're taking. And then boom, it's going to put us right here in the truck yet again. 
So here we go. We got doubles on. And actually, look at that. We're actually pulling out of the same area that we uh, we just were at. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to do a little bit of a quick run here back up the road to up this way, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a pit stop here. And I'm going to make you guys come back for number two. <laughs> All right. So let's fire this thing up. We got our international. Guys, check this thing out. A little bit of a different truck. Oh, that's the Lone Star. Got a little rumble there to her. Not too loud, not too crazy. It's so quiet in this truck. Got the window. Now look at this, we have new mail. So if we go back to the main screen, you'll see we have mail here now, and look at that, the truck dealer actually unlocked already. So brand new Kenwood trucks are for sale. We are a certified retailer of Kenwood trucks. We offer a wide selection of different configurations. Visit our showroom in Los Angeles. So we are on a load right now, so we cannot go there. But I'll show you guys here what that would look like. You would go here, you can kind of click buy online, but you need to have at least three trucks. So we'd actually have to visit the dealer, but we cannot do so while on a job. Also, we need money to unlock the bank. Let's go ahead in this super quiet. There we go, bring it off. Let me uh, take this off here. I gotta set this truck up. I've never driven one of these trucks ever in the game or in real life. Uh, let's sit kind of low in this thing. I don't know if that's the right. If any of you guys are any international drivers in the chat, you guys will have to, uh, down in the comment section, I'm always so used to live streaming. You guys will have to let me know uh, we're sitting in the proper area in this truck. Ooh, you hear that, Jake Rake? I wonder what motor's in this. Probably like a pack car. This thing is super, super quiet. Jake Rake sounds a little funny, though, on it, don't it? So my air horn's up. Gotta set up my other air horn, though. I used to have it on another button. Grind the gear, Mike. Whole airplane flying ahead of us. So there's actually our garage right in front of us, which I think is pretty cool. You guys get to see that right away. Now, when that said earlier with the free room is exactly what it said. So when we have our own truck, we are literally able to drive anywhere we want here in the game. So then what you would do is oh, stall the truck, Mike. we got to fix the clutch. Our mics just got to fix how to drive. So what you would do is you could literally drive your truck all around and then go to these dealerships or go to these locations and pick up the load yourself and kind of just like free roam. Kind of gives you that ability to branch out and try everything a little bit on your own instead of just using the in-game menu. Which is kind of cool. Because if you can... The coolest thing about this game is that you can make it all your own. You can literally do whatever you want. That's what is so fun about American Truck Simulator. You could literally make this exactly how you want it. You could literally do anything. You could make it so, you know, you drive around like for us, for example, with the no GPS. You could make it so you have to uh, drive around and never, I don't know, get into an accident. Or you can't ever pick a load from the job market. You have to just free roam and find yourself a job and pretend like you're knocking on doors or whatnot. There's always so many opportunities to make the game interesting. And it really opens it up for your creativity as well. All right, so we're going to go to this light here. Bang a left. I like the blinger on this truck. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. Both window 
Okay, so I am using the Toby Eye Tracker i5. This is a head tracker for obviously what you guys see. We're head tracking. We're looking up and down and around in the cab. And we're also lugging the engine here. Let's continue onward here. I'm just skipping gears. There we go. Find it, Mike. Looks like we might have a 10 speed in this truck. We should have checked before we jumped in on it. If you notice there on the windshield, that little blue square rectangular thing, that is our, what's it called, W pass in the game. So pretty much what that is, is there's scales in the game. So if you guys are not truck drivers or know much about trucking, there are scale houses that a truck must go through to weigh themselves to make sure they are legally appropriate to be on the road without any certain permits and things of that nature. Um, when we go under said scanner that little guy will light up either red or green red being that we need to actually pull in and then obviously green meaning we get the bypass now we will get a notification that'll pop up on screen as well but as i said earlier at the beginning of the video there are some settings that you can turn off which will then make the game feel a little bit more realistic but we'll get to that in different uh, episodes of this and uh, as we go further on going down the old highway here. Good thing we got another gear there. Cool old car right there. I think it's pretty neat. That's the rumble strip that you guys just heard. Pretty cool though how they added all these things in the game. Like the little things you don't really think about. The rumble strips. We could actually put a GPS on here as well. Downship there. Uh, the Jake break sounds so funny to me. Especially if you guys are some OGs of the channel here and you guys have launched, like, obviously when we're using the uh, other engine sound mods. You know, we're so used to listening to our big old Caterpillars and our Detroits and our big old Cummins and those ripping Jake breaks, but... Some of these uh, newer emission motors, they always sound so funny. We're gonna split this gear here. Let's see if this screen changes. Oh, it does, cool, we got 5.5 in here so far. Deal with 50 miles an hour. 900 miles still empty, cool deal, cool deal. This truck's got 11,000 miles on it. We gotta get over two lanes here, make sure nobody's coming. We should probably be paying attention. Uh, transmission, oil level okay, that's cool. Sounds funny, but at least we're getting good fuel mileage with it, right? Alright, so I did make the marker over here to get all of the exit here. There we go, let's back out of it just a little bit. There we go, so we're gonna be on this hill here. So, pretty sure that Mike is gonna stall here on the hill. What do you guys think? My equilibrium just went off too. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Why are we stalling? Let's set the brake. See that? You guys can try that in real life. If you guys ever do get stuck on a hill, you can try that in real life. I don't always recommend it, but you can try that in real life. You could literally set the brake and then try to give yourself a little bit of RPM so you're not trying to like two-step the brake pedal and the fuel pedal and 
try to get yourself rolling a little bit. But usually you don't want to shift, and that's what I did. All right, so we're going to stop right here for a second. We're going to let this dump truck try to get around me. Can he get around me? Man, I wanted to swing wide here. To get behind this motel. And it's not looking like it's going to be promising. I don't see an accident yet, though. Hey, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to swing wide over here. Because we're going to go behind the motel here to take a little, uh, a little nap. So we're going to throw the old blinker on again. So this motel is a place to sleep, too. Probably better off that we uh, sleep with a bobtail. And a bobtail is when we have no trailer on the back. Pull into here with our load of hay, go up the curb a little bit, and uh, we're gonna have to figure this out here. There you go. So that'll tell us too. We could sleep here if we need to sleep, if we need to rest. But uh, we're gonna pull in here real quick. We're gonna throw the old four ways on, and uh, we're gonna cut the episode one here. All right. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these kind of stuff. You know, uh, we're gonna go through. I'm gonna make a few of these. Uh, we're gonna go through ahead, play the single player a little bit, just the way as the game was intended going to check out all there is to the American Truck Simulator, all the little details, again, primarily for all you new truckers out there. So we're going to see about all of the places to go, what these things mean, what these question marks are, a little bit about trucking, a little bit about SCS, a little bit about everything here. And uh, we're just going to kind of do this on the side and have some fun with it. And again, we're also going to use it as a base for the convoys here that we do here on the channel if you guys haven't already make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button my name is mike i appreciate you guys watching we are live monday wednesday friday nights here on youtube if you guys want to jump in the stream we're going to be looking to do some convoys a couple times a month it's going to be some good times ahead we're going to have some cool content coming really appreciate we are on the road to 2,000 subs almost there and when we hit the 2000 sub mark we will also be doing some good old dlc giveaways here from american truck simulator to help complete your guys game so you guys are all set up for the release of oklahoma and kansas with that said guys i hope you guys have a good night i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one keep the hammer down